Hello, I'm like getting to record this again. Um, YouTube app crash, and I was like, okay, I guess we'll go to the laptop. My cat's giving me this weird look like you're talking to the thing again. <clears throat> so I'm gonna talk about Lush. See? Lush products. Yay! Okay. <laughs> ah, all right. So, um, just so you know, I've known about Lush for a year. Uh, so like I didn't shop there instantly because I was on a budget and I had no money for beauty products then because <laughs> I already had stocked up on brush, uh, beauty products and they were all store bought. And so by the fall, I was like, okay, yeah, all of most of these are already used up and now I can kind of go my more natural organic way and what a great, great place to start with Lush. <laughs> so, um, uh let's see here and so what i used to do in october i did it for like two months and then i stopped <laughs> was buy five bath bombs at a time and use one per week well that adds up to 25 dollars. i was like i can't do this anymore <laughs> um and plus once i started discovering other items that they had like deodorants and shampoos and conditioners i was like mm, yeah okay then then slow down on the bath bombs so the bath bombs are great uh, I just don't spend much time on bath bombs, so it's been a couple months to have a bath bomb, but I do have a luxury oil in here, bath luxury oil in there. Um, I have a catalog that I'm going to give to my friend at work. She was like, what's Lush? And I was like, yeah, look at the catalog. Uh, let's get some Christmas stuff in here. This is from the last time I went. I think that's when I got uh, the conditioner, the solid bar conditioner. And my cat is entertained by whatever's outside, so I guess we'll start the video while my cat is entertained. So, <laughs> uh, this is a little perfume sample. It's obviously made by Gorilla Perfumes. And it smells like grass and such. I wish they had written down like the name of the perfume, or at least I wish I had remembered the name of the perfume I sampled. I didn't, that's okay. It's probably not gonna be until like the summer or fall that I'll be done with my store-bought perfumes so it'll be a while before I actually get to buy any of Lush's perfumes and here is our luxury bath oil and my phone's going off and tech collectors need to stop calling me as I talk about Lush and this is why I'm on a budget for Lush anyways uh, <laughs> on the luxury bath oils I have uh, the Youth and Mango that's like four dollars yeah. now like this is after two, though, sorry, not two. This, I've already used it once. And this is how much I have. Now, I'm on bath bombs, yes, you are supposed to use the entire bath bomb for the bath, except my problem with the bath oils and the bubble bars is that my bathtub leaks. <laughs> um, it drains the water. It, not that it leaks, it drains the water. So... I don't feel inclined to use the entire thing. I don't care if it's disproportionate. That doesn't bother me as much. So, but for the bath bomb, I do use the entire thing. So, my throat's getting better. Um, yeah. So, the next thing, uh, this is a new one for me. Once again, I used to follow my store bought deodorant and now I'm going more natural, uh, which is nice. Uh, and here is Aromaco. Um, here's the shiny side. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got a little design on it. Uh, <laughs> my Aromaco piece, I dropped it on the floor when I got home. <laughs> and it chipped off the side. <laughs> and that's the side I'm using to apply. So, like, I, like, kind of chipped it a little bit. So I've been using it about every day except today. I'm not much of a deodorant wear. If that makes sense, like, okay, if I'm going to work, if I'm going out, yes, I wear deodorant. If I'm at home, it doesn't bother me because I don't smell, I can't, I can't really smell that good anyways. Smell that, not smell that good. <laughs> oh, words are hard. Um, I can't smell certain things anyways. This is very strong and it's like, yeah, I can smell it. <laughs> and so I just, listen, just only using it when I need it. So Anyways, I suggest putting it in something you can store. Yes, I know, Lush, you have your Tims. Um, 
my two tins are already in use, so I'm using what I have at home. And these little plastic at home storage things. I need to do another video about my view on the plastic. Not really plastic industry, but yes, kitty, I hear you. My cat wants me to play with them, but you know, when you do a video. <laughs> okay, so samples are cool. When you get done shopping, you can ask for samples, or they'll ask you, like, would you like to sample anything to take home and try and see if you really like it, really enjoy it? And so I have two different samples in two different sizes. Like, I didn't know if I had two different sizes. Anyways, uh, this is Dream Cream. <laughs> this is a funny story with this one. I thought I lost it at some point. I got it in October, and I lost it for a month, and then I found it in my car. And it was still intact, and I, I don't know, it was weird. And so, like, it's here. <laughs> so I've barely used it, obviously. Um, it's good. It's not that I haven't used it. Once again, I'm just using it on my store bot, and then eventually I'll be like, okay, now I can use up all my samples. Uh, yeah, I probably should use them up. Anyways, uh, this one I got this week. Love and night, love and height, love and spring. This has got a grassy smell, <laughs> uh, and it's a hand cream. I'm not much of a hand cream person, honest, uh, honestly. Um, I guess it just really, it's just the, the like, it's not here that I like the hand cream. It's here, because they just, I work with kids and sanitizer and stuff, and it's like, hand cream, please. Um, so yeah, so those are my little samples. And I will talk about my thing about the Lush Pots after this, after I talk about this product. So I've had this since October. It's the Don't Look At Me. You put it in your freezer or in your fridge. Um, and I've only used like half. <laughs> I'm going to uh, actually do the face mask um, after I get this video uploaded or at least finished and that it actually stays finished. Uh, <laughs> so with the pots, um, I have a kind of, this is, this goes with my plastic. I kind of have a dilemma with this. All right, so you can bring in five of these pots and get a fresh face mask. Now it's these and the larger ones that are like that. But what about these? Now I recycle at home. So that does, it's not the recycling that bothers me. It's just kind of like the incentive program. Like, I guess you can't bring everything in to get something. <laughs> it's just sales and me. Um, because if we could, it would be really awesome if they did the same thing with these plastic bottles. Because that would be great. Um, so this is a new conditioner. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I just started it this week. But the first one I did, and I got it in December, Honestly, this thing is melting. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to take everything out. So this is how much I have left of the plumps. Okay, I have soaps in here. Um, but this is how much I have left of the plumps. Uh, the plumps is a $17 solid bar conditioner. It's a lot. And, uh, and so I, the plumps is... I think it's like the most conditioning conditioner that they have. And it was not really working for me. Like I liked the conditioning. It was just the solid bar that wasn't working for me. Um, so I was like, what about happy, happy, joy, joy. And it again has that garden smell and it definitely stays like the plumps, like I could smell it. And then like the smell didn't stay at all. But with happy, happy, joy, joy, the smell is still in my hair, and it's been like two days uh, since I've conditioned. It's like still kind of there. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, and this one's got like, it's like orange flower. Yeah, orange flower and uh, almond milk and another oil. So yeah, and now to my soaps. The first soap I bought was parsley porridge to go with the whole grass thing. This is how much I have left. <laughs> I got this in like November, I think. Um, it was nice. I just don't like at the end how it's all crumbly and it's not really like staying in its form. Um, 
And then the other soap I have, let me pull it up in my actual soap tin, because there's an extra piece of that soap in here, and then also in here. Ta-da! Figs and Trees is the name. And it's nice. Uh, so yeah, both of my tins are in use. <laughs> um, yeah, so Figs and Trees is good. It smells good. I haven't actually used it yet because I'm still going to use up the parsley porridge beforehand. Um, yeah, so yeah, now I'm just twirling this in my hand. <laughs> yeah, those are all the Lush products I have and I've used. Um, I mean, bath bombs already been, already have been used. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the kind of, it's not a review of just going like, look through my bathroom, but without being in my bathroom. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, I think that's all I have. So, 